All right. Got one end of the pole line laced around that ground anchor, just a small pine tree. It's going up to that pine that's coming down right into the zone here. Actually, right about towards me. So, point here is, we've got the pull line out to this. Normally, we use the skid loader. Skid loader's not here, so we'll just use the stump grinder. And the line's not even that tight. You know, we didn't even put, really put that much pressure on the line so far. But by, by using that, there's no pulley up there. It's just going straight around the back side of the tree. So there's going to be a little friction on the rope. But really, I'd rather have twice the pull with the house involved. And that tree's got a little bit of back lean. And, uh, you know, as long as we cut a clean notch and back cut so we got a nice hinge there, it's definitely going to go our way. It's straight enough that once it gets started, it's definitely going to finish up. Now, one thing to keep in mind now when you're making these, when you're put the amount of force that's on these pole lines is only going to be the amount of force necessary to break the hinge. So when you have two lines coming off, there's a little bit of friction, but it's basically half the force on each side of the rope so that may that's one way to think about it rather than hey you're overloading your ropes or you're putting too much friction up there on your rope you're actually halving the amount of force on the pull on the rope when you use that system and you don't have to isolate the line not that it was a big deal over here but let's take a look at that and while we're here let's just take a quick look at this stump i didn't cut this tree i'm just about to grind the stump but you can see there's a few little whiskers, some hinge fibers right there, and just a few right there on the other end. And in the middle, almost nothing. There's one little bit of here. I don't know what that is, and that looks like an old knot there, so that didn't do much. And then we have a clear sign of a bypass in the face. This sloping face here is definitely a bypass in the face. It was probably a straight trunk or a straight tree, and they were taking the same direction there, so I'm guessing it went okay, but that's definitely could use some work in their cutting now they're fairly low on the back cut on that side and then the tip of the bar came out here leaving just this bit of space here that's where the tip of the bar is that finished the cut cutting from the far side there anyhow just things to keep in mind when it's always good i call it stump forensics you just look at the stump and you just think what happened here what went right right what went wrong clearly the bypass in the face is, is the first issue low buck back cut on the second side even so, he still ended up with the two posts, had enough holding ability to take a straight stick down. But that's not why you, you practice to cut, you make your cuts right every time you practice to cut them. So when you need that holding ability from a side leaner, you've got it. Anyhow, let's take a quick look at this hinge I cut over here, a bit of an unusual hinge. I'm trying to maybe shorten this fall up a little bit by going a little high. And uh, I actually might even have a little bit of bypass in there. But I've been... I kind of opened up that face quite a bit and then made a bit of a snipe and just cut the bottom of the snipe off. So, started the back cut, still have to finish it. And uh, we should be good to go here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 